<laughs> both almost the yeah that's that's a great example of the energy we're trying to capture today if you struggle with doing leg day because you hate leg day or whatever don't think of it as just this stupid thing you have to do think about it like a mental proving ground right if you're using leg day as a way to practice doing something you don't necessarily like to do but is good for you and you get good at doing that and you apply that to other things in your life you're going to become so efficient and so productive, uh, it'll change your life. Leg day is not so much about your legs as it is about your mind. Uh, so we're going to do a drop set. You'll start at that heaviest point, get as many as you can get, and then first drop maybe go to 70% of that weight and get a few more, but then drop it to like 30% of the weight and then get like 15. By the end of this, your legs should be like, it's just... I don't know what is, but you know, you know what I mean. So, side note, it's after the workout, but I just realized that my grandma subscribed, so I'm really sorry, grandma, if the music is bad. Don't listen to it. I don't choose it, okay? If it's saying bad words, don't get mad at me. <laughs> you better watch every single video, or we're gonna have a problem. And thank you for subscribing. Love you. Now, before that pump wears off, we're gonna jump on the leg press, because um, right now the hamstrings are full of blood, so now's a good time to stretch them and get some heavy pressing in. So, I'll show you that in a sec. I'm jumping right to four plates, because I'm already warm, so on the first one, I'm just doing a little bit less volume uh, to get used to the weight, and then we'll start working on it. There's uh, Lee Priest and his mom, Ronnie and his mom, and then me and my mom. Yeah. This one's for the history books. How many did you get? That's 15. I lost count. Yeah, but I can tell like my legs are getting tired because it's starting to go from my hamstrings to my quads yeah. at the end. Yeah. The other side of the coin with leg day being a mental proving ground is it's a good chance to practice forced positivity, I guess you could call it. That's why I watch Ronnie Coleman because the guy's just like so amped up and so energetic and so fun. Like, can you imagine A, how brutal it would be, but also how fun it would be uh, to train with Prime Ronnie? Like, even, even current Ronnie. That's the mindset oh, that I want to come on, come on. practice having and master putting myself in that place. <clears throat> Glute kickback's a prime example of an exercise that I was not happy about doing. The more I do it, the more I realize it's important, especially if you're a competitor in bodybuilding. Glute development's really important. And 
if you think of that one as like a pose, like a back double bicep, you usually set one leg back and squeeze the glute. That exercise becomes a lot more fun. <laughs> Speaking of making things fun, this is one that's fun for me because I had never really done it. So the muscle itself was really underdeveloped when I started. So it was almost like starting from scratch and working my way up. So the development's been really fast. Ooh. Well, that wraps up leg day. So remember that getting used to being positive, doing something difficult can be a huge advantage to your life. Anything that's worth achieving probably isn't easy to achieve. Legs, for example, if you've got giant legs because you worked your butt off for them, if anything, that's just a badge of honor that you get to wear on your body. I think a, a good thing to keep in perspective too is that we're talking about working out here. I'm not talking about losing a family member or losing your house or having some kind of tragic event happen. A leg day is a lot easier to pull off than dealing with that kind of stuff. Like I've said before, everything that we talk about is a skill and needs to be practiced and developed. If there's an exercise or a workout that you just loathe, get in there, watch some Ronnie Coleman, put your head in the right place and just hammer it out and make that exercise or that workout of strength and it'll it'll dramatically change how you look at workouts and life yeah i like that we'll end on that note <laughs> i'll catch you in the next video